One man is as good as another, her mother said. You can let the feelings develop. Her mother was frustrated. Her girl had turned down Reggie and Ben already. You're getting fussy, her mother said. But there was something she knew inside herself, a certain capacity that wasn't being filled. And then Jack came along and it was filled in moments, but filled entirely in those moments. So there was no going back, no matter what happened around those moments, no matter the moments he lived entirely in his own head. They met at a dance in Brisbane during the war, American soldiers, Australian women, or mainly girls, gloves and chul, sweat. She observed her friend's lip trembling and thought about the parts of a woman they kept to themselves, looking at the men like pieces of caramel, dancing with them and inhaling whatever was at head height, enjoying the men's noses in their hair. There was a war on, and the men were in some small position of control over the outcome, or were connected to that control, and that made them powerful. Their uniforms, their fit, straight bodies. Jack's eyes were a startling pale blue. He smiled confidently, as though he saw her secret parts. Only later would she come to know what it took for him to develop that way of seeming sure about things, and how it was already what she could sense beneath that, what many women could, the vulnerability that made his eyes seem bluer, because rarely did you get to look into them. He was beautiful, a beautiful man, but that's a kind of power a man can find uncomfortable.